looking at how to find the surface area of a square prism. So let's define a square prism. A prism is uh, a figure that has two parallel bases, and our bases are squares. So we have two parts to look at in our formula. We have what we call the lateral area, and those are the sides that go around the prism, and then we have the bases. Well, in this one, our base is a square, so it's really pretty simple. Okay, once we find each of those two separate parts, then we're going to add them together to find the total surface area. And remember, we have two bases. So once we find the area of the base, we have to double it to account for both bases. Okay, let's start with our lateral area. LA stands for lateral area, and P times H is our perimeter times our height. So let's go look at the perimeter of our base. Our base is square, so the perimeter is 6 times 4 because we have 4 equal sides. So the perimeter is 24, and then we're going to take that times the height of the uh, pyramid or prism, and that's 8. So let's go over here and multiply that together. 24 times 8 multiplies to 192, and that's in units. Uh, the units are inches, so that's inches squared. So that's our total lateral area, or the sides that go around. Now let's look at the base area. I'm going to abbreviate that as BA for base area. And our base is a square, so it's very simply side squared. Well, the side of the base up here, all four sides, are 6. So I'm just going to take 6 and square it, and I get 36. Now don't forget, we have two bases. So I've got to take that 36, and I've got to double it to 72 to account for both of the bases. So that accounts for two base areas. Now we're going to take our base area of 72, two base areas, and our lateral area of 192 and add them together. So 192 plus 72, we're going to add that up to 2 and 2 is 4, carry the 1, uh, that's 16, 264, and that's in square inches. And that's how you find the surface area of a square prism.